King has changed the face of musical theater. When you go there, you, you are going to be so amazed. There's a lot of nice dances, there's nice songs, it's really colorful. Theater allows the audience to go to another place where they fill in the blanks, where they, they say, okay, all right, that, those platters of grass, I see that with the little miniature puppets moving, and there's the savannah. But I'm watching the human beings manipulate it. So the art of the storytelling ends up being as important as the story. One of the most exciting things to happen in downtown Boston is the reopening of the restored Boston Opera House with Disney's The Lion King. Newton native Julie Taymor's creative and innovative rendition of the film. Disney's The Lion King received six Tony Awards and is now in its seventh sold-out year on Broadway. One of the most creative and groundbreaking productions ever to grace a stage. Director Julie Taymor. I created this concept that I call a double event, where you see the animal and you see the human simultaneously. Hey, Uncle Scar, when I'm king, what would that make you? A monkey's uncle. <laughs> You're so weird. You have no idea. The challenge is working with your mask. I've got motors on, you know, and, and mechanisms running up and down my arm to get make the mask move. Um, it is puppetry, and it's challenging because it because it's it's mechanical, but you have to make it seem like an extension of you. Director Julie Taymor and puppet designer and technical whiz Michael Curry wanted to create puppets and masks that allowed the energy to come directly from the actor. I have on my right hand a control mechanism. Um, which operates the eyes and the beak, uh, a trigger finger which actually operates the mouth um, as we talk, so uh, hopefully I'm opening and closing it as I hit all the constants. Wait. There's no mountain to rain. To actually go on stage and give an audience member an opportunity to watch either my performance or the performance of the combination at the same time. It was, it, it, it's amazing. That's a really wonderful thing about playing Mufasa. I get to sing, I get to dance, I get to act. And Brandon Kane plays the young Simba. He wants to be king, but in the second act, he doesn't, he can't remember what he wants to be. And he like talks to his dad because his dad dies. And his dad says that he's his son and he's the only true king. The Lion King music is diverse. The film had just five songs by Elton John and Tim Rice. Shadowlands, it's from Big Nala. Even though I'm not in it, it's still my favorite. Why is that your favorite? Um, it's just, I like the song and I like the way she moves and everything. It's just really cool for me. I still stand backstage every night and listen to the music. You know, I mean, the, the visual itself is amazing. But if you listen to the choral music, it really is overwhelming. And even forgetting about Shadowland, the, the song that I sing, I, I swear I, I stand backstage every night and almost cry <laughs> just because it really is an amazing musical.
it's magic and it has to tell the stories and the dancers have to be hyenas at one time, wildebeest at another time, gazelles just leaping through the air. Here we suddenly had head pieces that um, added three feet to the dancers. So when you move your head and you're accustomed to do that, suddenly you have three more feet, you have to move it in a different way and support the head in a different way. That's the pinnacle point where Simba realizes it's time, it's time to go back. It is time to forget everything else that you thought about. It is time to now take the responsibility. You may not know how you're going to win back your kingdom, but you know you have to go back. Something must be done. One of the many differences between the film and the theatrical Lion King are the expanded female roles of Nala and the shaman Rafiki. Rafiki was so reimagined for the theater, first of all being female, secondly being the, the sole mother of the piece, the, uh, the, the real earth of this piece. She's funny, she's spiritual, she's the guide, she's the storyteller, and she gets to sing the big songs. I love He Lives In You, the, the reprise. Um, when Simba realizes what he needs to do and Rafiki reminds him and then everybody comes out and they're all in their dashikis and the dancers are moving and oh, it's, it's so amazing. Most complicated shows in theater history. Tell us a little bit about the piece that we're on. We are on Pride Rock. Pride Rock, it's probably the biggest set piece that we have. It weighs about 5,000 pounds. There wow. is a motor that's being charged right now in the back, which is all referred to, this is the back, and there's a motor in the front. Uh, while it's off stage here, it can collapse on itself, uh, not unlike nesting tables. How will the show get to Boston? The show will get to Boston in 22 trucks, 22 semis. A little bit different in Boston, there'll be a brand new deck in Boston, so that will be there by the time we get there. And uh, I'm excited for that. And uh, I also still will be a brand new Pride Rock, so, uh, a lot of good things happening for us in Boston, too. Uh, kind of a re rebirth of the show there. Well, I'm brave. What's out there? Mm -hmm. well, I'm sorry, Simba. I just can't tell you. Why not? Simba. 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 I'm only looking out for the well-being of my favorite nephew. Yeah, right. I'm your only nephew. What's your favorite part of the show? My favorite part of the show? Uh, at the end, when I get to go home. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the next favorite part. The next part of favorite show. part of the show is the opening. The opening is pretty spectacular. It's uh, something that uh, people have never seen before. And uh, in an odd way, may never see anything like it again. And it's something that you don't want to miss. You can't come late to The Lion King uh, because you'll be left out in the lobby. Um, and it's something that you don't want to miss. Every star in your reflection. So, whenever you feel alone, just remember that those kings will always be there to guide you. And so will I. <laughs>